Good day. We're going to take a look at the measurement tool, or we're going to revisit the measurement tool here in Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to zoom up on my document here, so I'm at 100% of viewing scale, and I can do that by double-clicking on the uh, zoom tool in my tool panel. I'm going to take my hand tool. I'm going to move it over so I can see the ruler. Uh, there's a scale in here uh, measured in centimeters. Uh, I'm going to change my uh, ruler up here. I'm going to right mouse click and so it is in pixels for a second. So I can measure how many pixels are in this image per centimeter so I can set up my measurement system. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my ruler tool and I'm going to make sure the ruler uh, setting up here in the options bar where it says use measurement scale is turned off. Next, I'm going to take the ruler tool. I'm going to come on one of the major hash marks here. and I'm going to drag holding the shift key down to the next major hash mark. And this will give me uh, a distance of pixels measuring out one centimeter on the scale. Up on L1 here, I see it says 88. So I'm going to use that information to set up my measurement system for this specific document. I'm going to go over to Image. I'm going to come down to image size. I'm going to make sure resample image is turned off or unchecked. And I'm going to change my uh, resolution here to pixels per centimeter. And I'm going to put in the measurement I picked up when I measured the scale. And that was 88. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click on my ruler. I'm going to change it uh, over here to centimeters. So now when I measure from this top ruler hash mark down to the other hash mark, it should give me approximately uh, one centimeter. So if I look up in my options bar, it says one. Another thing I can do to check that is take the hand tool and move it over here so it butts up against the ruler. And then up here where the rulers intersect, I can drag this down and this is going to set the zero zero point for my rulers. So I'm going to put it right on this top hash mark and now I can check and see if my tick marks on my ruler are matching the ones on the scale in the image and it looks like they are. So now if I want to measure something uh, like the length of the tip of this star I'll take the measurement tool I will click and drag out to the tip and I will let up and it measures up in my L1 scale if this is 2.02 centimeters. Now if I want to track those values I can go to the window menu and bring up the measurement log. Now the measurement log is going to record the measurements I tell it to and I have to tell it to record them. So I'm going to make a measurement and I'm going to click on record measurements. Before I do that, I want you to go to the pop-out menu on the measurement log and come over to Set Measurement Scale of Custom. And we're going to tell Photoshop that there are 88 pixels for one logical unit of centimeters. Now we did this in the image size, but that was just for the sizing within the document. This is actually for the measurement scale to record these accurately. I'm going to click OK. So now I'm going to measure uh, another distance. We'll say the diameter of this circle here. So I'm going to click, I'm going to drag across, and I'm going to let up. And now I have this diameter measured. Up here in L1 it says it's 1.01 centimeters. And if I want to record that, I can click on the record button down here in the measurements log. And now that's recorded that as the label 1, ruler 1 position, the date and time, the document, the source, and the scale we set up. And it says right here that the length is 1.009255 uh, centimeters long. Now, let me zoom out so I can see a little bit more of my picture. I'm going to come with my zoom tool. I'm going to hold the Alt key. And I'm going to uh, click and hold down on it maybe a couple times. And then I'm going to hold the space bar so I can get the hand. 
and I'm going to make another measurement. I'm going to make a measurement from the tip of one part of the star to another. So I'm going to take my uh, ruler tool here and then I'm going to hold down or I'm going to actually turn on the caps lock. Now when I turn on and off the caps lock or toggle it on and toggle it off you'll see when I toggle the caps lock on my cursors now change to what in Photoshop calls a precision cursor. So now I can put that precision cursor right where I want it, press and drag across to this other tip and I'm not being obscured by the graphic or the icon of the measure tool. So it gives me a little more accuracy. So I'm going to let up on that and it does tell me up in the options bar it's 10.24 centimeters and I want to record that. So I'm going to click and that's going to record that amount down here in my measurement log. Now the downside is I can't l label or specifically name these labels here in the measurement log. Um, I'd like to be able to so I'm going to have to keep a handwritten documentation of what I'm measuring in each one of these labels and what it's referring to. Now when I get done doing that I can come over to the uh, pop-out menu on the measurement log here and I can actually pick export selected. So basically what that means is I can come down in here on my ruler and hold the control key and select all the measurements I recorded and then I can export those out into a format that I can use in Excel which is a tab delimited file. So I could go ahead and name this um, we'll say measure test and I'll just save it to my desktop. Now that file can be opened up in uh, Excel and I can relabel the ruler labels that I couldn't do here in Photoshop. So again, if you want to use the measurement tool, you sure can. If you want to use the measurement log, you can go ahead and have it record uh, those values for you.